Let's play together Rumble Roses. But we're getting ready for... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this justice. I might be better off just keeping my mouth shut and letting the wacky dialogue, such as it is, take care of itself. Because we are going to do the story mode of the... Well, her default character was the craziest default character, I said. Because her default character is not as crazy as her alternate. You remember, lovable Igel. She has pigtails and boobs. But she likes other people's teeth and poor grammar. What would happen if she were to turn evil? Well, she'd be Killer Khan, that's what would happen. Killer Khan is, um... Killer Khan is freaking insane, that's what Killer Khan is. She's called Great Khan in Rumble Roses Double X, I'll probably start calling her that out of habit. Uh, but she's got a little dragon lady dress, and she's got a reasonably normal looking swimsuit with, um, no, uh, weird white face paint. So, um, this doesn't feel like Great Khan without crazy white face paint on. Let's, uh, give Great Khan a chance to explain herself, and, um... Maybe, just maybe, you'll find out why I'm in love with Great Khan. <laughs> as far as, you know, insane uh, people go. I'm in love with her in the same same way that I'm in love with, like, Pope Dickhead the Evil from uh, Breath of Fire 2, or... You know. But anyway. She's wearing an extremely short Dragon Lady dress, like... Very little of her uh, naughty bits being covered by that thing. I mean, she's got, you know, panties on underneath and all, so it's fine. It's just, like, not, not very practical. I'm not sure what purpose this dress serves. And considering that her gimmick is that she thinks that she, like, is, uh, like, royalty and uh, rules her, like, own country or something, I'm not sure why she would dress like this. But, uh... Not complaining, just saying. And that little weird prop I Oh, hold on. What do you have left Emperor. out? Emperor is your favorite word. Okay. What about Empress? No? What are your measurements? Dirty man. Off with head. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Saren? No man, my type. All serve Killer Khan. Um. Will you run that by me again? Great father. <laughs> Ooh, see, a little hint that maybe deep down inside she's not clear. I decide to stop following path of noble warrior. Instead, I wreak havoc. Through real estate speculation. Besides wrestling, what else are you interested in? Conquering world. Seriously? Oh, what are you doing on a typical day? Conquering I world. travel, and one day, I become emperor. Not empress, then. Yeah, so, uh, I heard it. She still wants to impress Great Father, but has decided to start wearing form-fitting uh, Dragon Lady dresses and taking over the world. She's still from Mongolia. She's 18. Uh, she has a move called Acid Rain and Bayana Zag. I'm not sure what that's about, but um. All become slave to Killer Khan. <laughs> I'm on top. Shut up. Nice. Off with head, fine. You finished. It's like Razor Ramon used to say that, didn't he? Fly! Not against Khan. Oh, stop! <laughs> That's more creepy than sexy game. Just saying. No hurt, no hurt. I'm on top. That's gonna be my new action catchphrase. The montage, shut up. Uh, we have been learning in uh, Boba the Vultures and my Let's Play Together of um, Sakura Nandatsu 3 that uh, there's somebody called Flame Khan who's like gonna feed King. So maybe um, Great Khan has decided to take over the Empire because her father, as much as she loves him, is uh, Charles Olsen Rabbit. Now, without further ado, it's the story of Great Khan, or Killer Khan. She's uh, conorific. And yet, I've yet to make a Wrath of Khan joke. Great Father, I not know that path be so difficult. I tried to tell you, Jerry. <laughs> I made many fouls lately and cannot be great warrior. Foul is her word for fart. <laughs> fart jokes, folks. Ah. <sighs> 
Maybe time to go home. Though Mongolia kind of suck. Maybe time to stay here. No! Father and brother surely laugh at me. Almost a certainty, Eigel. I must win. Losing not option. Okay. I train to become stronger than ever before. And wear a sluttier outfit. World outfit was pretty out there. Jiggle. I decided. I now Killer Khan. Most powerful person in world. Head of transnational syndicate of enormous wealth and political influence. So, you know, she's the most powerful person in the world. Now, her uh, entrance music is actually pretty cool, as I recall. Even if her actual entrance is kind of, you know, weird. No safety harness at all, just a uh, chick hanging around. Uh, yeah. And doing weird posing. See, folks, doesn't this make you want to surrender to Killer Khan's evil empire? Maybe this will. I mean, oh, I'll sleep to Killer Khan. Or I like her little Titantron thing back there. It's like some kind of like trippy ass uh, psychedelic thing going on behind her name. I don't really know how this fits into the Mongolian conquerors thing, but. And who am I to say that Killer Khan can't conquer the world? I mean, Genghis Khan, folks, he uh, led the pretty much only historically successful land invasion of Russia. Historians will tell you that Napoleon and the Third Reich both broke their backs trying to take over Russia. Genghis Khan did it. Although, to be fair, Genghis Khan did not do it um, by himself, but just going around beating up individual people in Russia. <laughs> Which seems unlikely to have worked. Ow. So, Killer Khan not, not off to a good start here. You know, that little knee lift thing is certainly going to at least be able to conquer. If not all of Asia, then at least big chunks of Asia will be conquered by that knee lift. Folks, her gimmick is that she wants to take over the world <laughs> through wrestling. Why do I find that so ridiculous? The whole point of this game is that Lady X, the evil robot, is going to, like, destabilize the world. But Great Khan is just like... She wants to personally take over the world. Here goes. Oh great, even the first opponent's like countering stuff. Ow, the pound! That's the eye goal I know and love, dropping people on their heads. Kinda dropped her on her body, but still. Lifts her up over Eigel's own head. Boom, right on the head. No hurt, no hurt. You folks enjoying the show? I mean, folks become slaves of Killer Khan and uh, Killer Khan, your evil empress. Uh, sincerely hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Pendulum backbreaker. Nice. I do love the fact that Eigel appears to weigh about 90 pounds, and yet she has awesome power moves in her arsenal. Oh! Shades of Mr. Perfect, if Mr. Perfect were an adorable but insane Mongolian girl. And, you know, alive. She is alive, folks! She's real! You can't tell me she's not! Sorry, just uh, kidding. You get creepy there. Boom! Uh, you become slave of Killer Khan when Killer Khan defeats you, right? Because, you know, otherwise, what's the point? Now, I couldn't tell you for sure, folks, if there is some kind of, like, Mongolian fetish that's popular in Japanese culture, which is why Eigel's in this game, or if it's simply out of respect for a pro wrestling archetype, which is long gone, and yet people just will not forget it. The, um, crazy Mongolian, who, like, yeah, biting, that's a big part of the crazy Mongolian uh, pro wrestling moveset. Also, uh, if I go at some point, either spits some kind of mist or throws salt, 
those are like big things that um oh I don't remember the guy's name now but it's like a famous wrestler from like the 60s or 70s it was like I think he may have actually been Killer Khan now that I think about it they may have changed their name in Great Con to Great Khan in the uh, sequel because they thought they were just being disrespectful to Killer Khan by making some like you know fictional digital sex pod be named after him now as much as I'm enjoying this um, this let's play and I'm gonna really enjoy you know it's, it's over now for all intents and purposes she's got all that's left is her ending scene where she talks to I'm not gonna spoil it although I mentioned it already in another uh, let's play who it is she fights and you know if you think back to Igel's story there's only one character with whom she actually ever interacted who wasn't you know Anastasia talking about Lady X but um the dialogue is all but over, folks. And yet I still can't get past how wonderful it is that this cute little girl is suddenly wearing a form-fitting dragon lady dress, has painted up her face in like some kind of weird mystical eastern pattern, and intends to take over the world by beating up one woman at a time until the world has been conquered. If you're gonna dream, Igle. Dream big. And uh, get out of that frickin' corner already. Now her moveset, I don't know, she seems to have more impressive power moves than double X. Or maybe I'm just not using the right grapples. Eigel was like freaking crushing people, of course. Power bombs left and right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's like 70s pro wrestling cheating tactics right there. Get somebody who's obviously not Caucasian. Uh, pretend that they're from the Far East, even if they could have been born anywhere in the U.S. of Asian parents and make them throw mystical sand when the referee's not looking, of course. Are oh, you like that? That sea salt! Use that to flavor our fries in Mongolia! And then Wendy steal our technology! They've stolen your Wolfman Jack technology. Sorry folks. I uh, posted, or favorited, and for a little while had it as my um, default pay or my video was the uh oh then holy shit killer con you're not gonna have any slaves left if you freaking murder everyone by breaking their necks now at this point i have yet to um humiliate her which is a problem because i want to see the h move i always like to do that in the first match where it's easy so let's get a... Uh, I might as well do it right off the bat. And the last two... Let's, I didn't realize until I was watching Becky's for Sync Issue that there was a big gap between the time I recorded the Becky one and the time I recorded the uh, Doctor and uh, Cutter one. And in both of them, I made a point of using the writing crop. and was like, oh, well, I'll do it. Why not? Which sounds incredibly unconvincing when I've, you know, done it two stories in a row kind of seems like I just want to use the writing crop and I'm trying to pretend otherwise. Well, I'm going to use the writing crop here because it's a quick way to humiliate and I haven't figured out any moves from Great Con yet that seem to do that on their own. Ow. Oh, I might need to figure some out because this writing crop thing just is not working so far. It's exactly how it was in these other videos too. It's just a pain in the butt to get it to work. How can that not be humiliating? There we go. So, you pervs at home getting into this yet? <laughs> Killer Khan conquer world by making everybody kind of uh, get writing cropped, but sort of kind of not want to admit it, but kind of like it. That's my sinister and very convoluted plan for taking over the world. Anyway. All right, folks. Here, check that out. Will that do anything for you? Uh, now we've got a... Um, I th yeah, I should have realized I could do this select button goofiness earlier. But she's going to be humiliated when we come back, which means I can check out the H move, I can check out the killer move, and I can move along with the story. The story of Great Khan, the cute but insane chick who's going to take over the world one beaten-up person at a time. This is Mysterious JG. Uh, hoping that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.